going to turn and we're going to turn between the front fabric and the back fabric so between the linen and the tarn along so just push it through and then grab a chopstick and we'll help it along with the back the blunt end of the chopstick push it through and the, the um, pointy end just gently ease the point out so that we give it some shape and we're going to So now we take our handle and the buckram and gently ease the piece into the handle, like so. Maybe if you give it a curve, like so, an arch, it pushes in easier. And then you're going to stop when it reaches the bottom. So your stiffener will go halfway up your handle to the point where you're going to tie your knot so that you still have the soft end that to, um, that's flexible. And now we're going to top stitch along here, along the edges, half a centimetre, a quarter inch, um, just to neaten it up. So we've got our pattern pieces, now we're going to put the basket together. So this is our outer piece with the pockets. This is the quilted lining and we've got two handles. So we take the first handle and we're going to place it so that the front of the handle is facing the front of the pockets. And then this is the side, this is our notch, but as you can see, it's not correctly centred for some reason. It's gone a bit off kilter when sewing. So look at your two sections, find the centre point and then place your handle exactly on the centre point of those two sections. And then I've got here marked, this is the one inch extra that we're going to leave on the top. This is going to help the handles to stay upright. So we're going to pin this in position. Remember you've got that super thick buckram inside so your machine might need a bit of patience to sew through it. So we're going to sew a one centimetre seam allowance at the top just to hold those in place and a couple of lines of stitches as well. with your machine um, as it's sewing through a lot of layers of fabric.
So this is inside out. Now we're going to place the quilted lining right side out and we're going to match these two corner seams. Push all the corners down so that they're really well matched. Give it the tug sideways because we want to try and get the two layers as identical as possible. So pull them to stretch slightly. And we're going to match the top. And pin the little stitch around the top. Remember we also got the turning gap, which I've got notched. So this is the place to get it really tidy. Make sure that it fits really well together. Okay, let's get stitching. So to stitch the basket, I'm gonna take this part of the machine off. This will just make it easier. And then I'm gonna slide this on and we're going to start. We've got the one centimetre seam allowance. Turn it right sides out. Now we're going to fold it into position. And 
this. I love this lining actually, it's quilted lining. Push the corners out. If you need to do it with a chopstick, now's your chance because you've still got the turning gap open so you can squeeze the uh, chopstick in. And we'll trim off all these loose threads. Oh look, I've missed a pin inside. <laughs> Definitely need to take that out. The next step is to press and then I'll show you what's next. So we're going to top stitch around the top edge to close that turning gap and about three millimeter um, seam allowance or similar, whatever is on your presser foot, just follow that. These are so sweet to use and so versatile as well. Um, they make gorgeous gifts. And once you get used to sewing them, it won't take you long at all. I'm just going to tidy up all those loose threads and then show you the finished piece at the end.